I, I can tell you what it is. It's the Maimonides, and it's called the Laws of Kings and their Wars, and it's, cha it's the last chapter where he speaks about why, uh, why did God allow Christianity to become a world religion and Islam, and what role it played in the world. Um, but the location is uh, it's the last chapter of 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 Mishnah Torah Yad Chazaka, last chapter of the Laws of Kings and their wars. And Maimonides addresses a conundrum, and that is, why would Christianity and Islam emerge after the destruction of the of the base of the Second Temple? It means why prior to the to the destruction of the Second Temple, all religions were very dissimilar to Judaism. Let me just, if you don't know this, there were, was nothing else remotely like Judaism in the ancient world. All religions were pagan, and they thought Jews were, they actually called us atheists. They just couldn't imagine, they just couldn't, but they did respect Judaism because of our antiquity. So it's interesting that two religions based on Judaism would emerge as soon as the temple would be destroyed. Why? Why would that happen? So Maimonides explains that the central feature of the Mashiach is that the Gentiles will immediately, when the Messiah comes, recognize their error, and they'll turn to the Jews and say, you're right, and we were wrong, and they'll repent. They will immediately get it. You get what I'm saying? They'll get the whole thing. So let's take Christianity as an example. If there was no Christianity in Islam, and the world would just fill today with the worship of Jupiter and all Mercury and all that, all that kind of those kinds of religions, when Mashiach comes, it could happen in a matter of days and weeks. They would go, "What's that? I have no idea what that is." That means that prophecy could not unfold. What Christianity is saying, as an example, is that Judaism was always correct, and there is one idea of one God, because Christianity is a monotheistic orientation. We won't get into Trinity now, but just the, the overall Christians will say there's one God. There were commandments that were binding, but they are no longer binding because Jesus fulfilled the law for us. Uh, we don't have to keep it anymore. We don't have to observe it anymore because now, but all Christians will concede that if they are wrong about Jesus, every Christian has to say that if Jesus is not the Messiah, then who has the truth? The Jews. You get that? All Christians, no Christian I think would be very comfortable with this, but if you ask the Christian, look, if Jesus wasn't the Messiah and Christianity is essentially all of its unique claims are, are false, then who then has the truth? They'd have to say, well, the default, the, it would be a baseline default that goes, the Jews were always right. Okay? And that's exactly what is going to happen. And so, but without Christianity and Islam, both having an idea that there is one God, that God was acting with the Jews, but for some reason the Jews did something terribly wrong, Christianity did something much worse than in Islam. That's why, in historically, because in Christianity we killed God, right? Mm -hmm. But Islam actually denies that Jesus was killed by anyone. They deny there was ever a crucifixion, which sort of got us off the hook. Uh, <laughs> so actually we got along with Muslims for a long time because they said not only didn't, didn't, didn't the Jews kill Jesus, no one did. So, uh, so which was really kind of helpful. Uh, uh, but what, what is key is they both will recognize, they recognize the idea of a Mashiach, that there were mitzvot and there's a one God monotheistic orientation. So if a Mashiach comes, they will immediately get it. You see, and that's what Maimonides is saying there. Why is he saying that is the role of Christianity and Islam in the world? And that's why all the other ideas of God have essentially receded, and they became dominant. And why did they become dominant immediately after the temple was destroyed? Well, think about it, because the Mashiach would come and to rebuild a temple that had been destroyed. So he's not coming while the temple is still standing. Really? Oh, I never thought about that. Okay, good. So now they got. So the second the temple is destroyed, the Mashiach now can come at any time. The 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 epic of the messianic age now could be triggered at any moment. The kinetic energy is now all in place. Well, that means everything has to shift. Hashem has to shift everything. It gets the world to into a monotheistic orientation with the idea of believing in the Torah is the word of God and so on, and that the Jews were at one time right, but they just blew it. They missed the boat. What happens when Mashiach comes? They go, we, the Jews, after all this time, we realize now, we're right. 
And, that, and there we have Jeremiah 16. And the, the Gentiles will come to you and say, surely we've inherited the lies and vanity. There's no truth. Without Christianity, these Messianic prophecies could not have could never have taken place. And therefore, Christian Islam was vital to setting up the world, preparing the world for Mashiach, so they will recognize it. Because if they never were exposed to the concept, Mashiach would come and they go, what's that? Like, we don't, okay, you understand? So that's what Maimonides is saying. He's not making a historical statement about um, the existence of Jesus. That was not an issue when Maimonides uh, was alive.